Yo, yo, what up, guys? It's your boy Easy here. This is just going to be my fast overview of the PlayStation VR. Now, I've been trying to make this video for a long time. I know I have not put up a lot of videos um, for almost a month now. I've been going through a lot of personal problems, but um, <clears throat> you can always find out about that in my previous video. But we're going to talk about the PlayStation VR right now, real quick, while I have the chance to. Uh, as you can see, I'm inside my son's room, and um, yeah. So basically it's this, PlayStation VR, um, some of the features and stuff like that. So let's talk about that. PSVR, one of the best headsets to ever come out. It has so many features, it has so many things towards it that it's, the thing is just amazing. Um, it does have a microphone on it, so it's basically at the bottom of it. So basically... Um, there's some extra features inside of it with the microphone. So let's say if you got the headsets on with the earphones in it, you can actually go inside the setting and turn the microphone up so you can actually hear what you're saying. So let's say you got the headsets on and somebody want to sneak up on you, try to scare you. You can actually turn that microphone on so you can hear what's going on outside, like if you got the headphones on. One thing though I do like about the PSVR, <clears throat> um, it's amazing. I've used the Oculus Rift, I used the HTC Viv, and the PSVR is amazing. Um, it's on par. Only down for is, which I'm going to give you some cons right now before I talk about more about it. Cons. You do get a little bit of blurriness, depending on the game. Um, <clears throat> for example, games like uh, Resident Evil um, 7. Amazing. Um... For other games that's out there, like for the um, Viv and stuff like that, you know, it's indie games and stuff like that. It's really no games that's actually out for the Oculus and the um, Viv that's like third party play, play, play type. Playing Resident Evil 7 on the PS4, um, PlayStation 4 Pro with the PSVR is amazing. It puts you and makes you feel like that you're actually in there. Even playing Kitchen just it makes you feel like you're actually inside the game i have had so much fun playing resident evil 7 now i do wear glasses um if you wear glasses don't wear it you don't need it um if you have bad sight you don't, you don't need it i wear glasses as you can see and when i go into vr i feel better when i wear my glasses when i'm inside the vr and i come out i feel sick now if you see my previous video Y'all heard me saying that I was actually sick um, towards it. It wasn't towards I was actually sick because of the VR. I actually had an ear infection. And I wound up getting, um, <clears throat> I had an ear infection, a sinus infection. So my equilateral, my vertical, everything was just all messed up. And I was really sick at that time. Um, and I put on the VR on top of having this because when I had the VR on, I was putting a lot of pressure on my sinuses on top of having a headache. And having an air infection, having earphones in and stuff like that, liquid in your ears and stuff like that doesn't go well with playing that. So when I came out of VR, I was looking at my hands. And that's why I'm telling you not to wear your glasses because if you wear glasses, every time I put my glasses on and was looking at my hand, I felt like I was still in VR. It was like my brain trying to comprehend. I was, you know, sinuses, everything's just hurting on my forehead. Once I replayed the game, took my glasses off, and actually played it, I felt way better. Didn't have none of those nausea feelings, anything like that. Um, but when you first put them on, you may feel a little bit nausea. I don't get motion sickness at all. I've never had to deal with mo motion sickness. So um, when I felt it, I just kind of got dizzy like that. That's because I had an ear infection, sinus infection, stuff like that. But um, other than that, the games is amazing. Indie games is amazing. Demos is amazing. The PSVR has a lot to offer. Now, the only people that's talking about PSVR is not good. PSVR is garbage. All that is the ones that don't own it and the ones that's just straight up playing out Xbox fanboys because they don't want to see success towards something. Now, I'm neutral. I don't care if you get mad at me because I'm a neutral. I don't care if I'm not on the Xbox side and I don't care if I'm on the Sony side. I play where the games is good at and that's why I enjoy. And PSVR has good VR games like Resident Evil 7. Good third party game, AAA third party game that's out from Capcom. And it's amazing. I've enjoyed Resident Evil 7. I've played through it multiple times. I've never played through a game multiple times like that. I've played it multiple times on 
without VR, and I'm actually going through it right now with VR, and it's just the environment feels real. Everything just so much make you feel like you're there. Now you do get some um, pixels that you can actually see the pixels, but you don't get no ghosting or nothing like that. That's one thing that I do like. Um, the little covers and stuff on it is um, actually cups out a lot of the lights and stuff like that. But it's a good, good headset. Now, the PSVR does have an opportunity to be one of the best VR headsets out. Like I can actually see the PSVR Move controllers being used for like a a good AAA or first party studios from Sony, like Star Wars. Now the ball lights for the um, PlayStation Move controller can actually work as being a lightsaber in an actual straight up lightsaber on um, Star Wars movie game, whatever. Not like the way the way how um, Microsoft did when they made that Star Wars Connect. That was a fail. But the way how they actually got the game now, um, the way how they got the PSVR and everything, the moves. A good, uh, a good Star Wars game can come out of this PSVR, like how they got for the Oculus Rift, and how they got for HTC Vive. With those controllers, is good. I actually played one of the demos that you had to build the blocks, and you actually had the sword. You actually see like the laser pointer. That's what I mean by it has opportunity to do it. It's a good thing. Um, you actually be able to get a bundle right now. They have the Until Dawn, um, bundle that's coming out, so you can actually purchase that um next month on the first. Um, for, I believe it's four ninety nine. I got mines from GameStop. I got the two move controllers, the chargers, the headset, the um, the move whatever demo um full game expansion. Then I have the one that's the demo pack that you can actually download. Um, I have all that stuff on it, pack bundled all that. So I've been enjoying VR for uh for a while. Just been having fun. Um. Yeah, that's my overview for it, guys. Um, stay tuned for my other videos. I have videos that's come up later. Explain to you guys some things that's been going on with me. Why I have not been uploading. Um, you can check that out on my other videos. But um, yeah, that's basically about it with the um VR. As you can see right there, I have it going on. I'm gonna actually try um Ghost Recon Wow something like that Wow Squad something like that, and I'm actually. I was supposed to be going to pick up Horizon Zero Dawn. I think it comes out today or tomorrow, one of the two. But I'm going to pre-order it. Well, order it now. Have Amazon drop it off like that. Um, yeah, but other than that, guys, I'll catch you. That's my overview. And I'll catch you guys later. Deuces. Peace.